has recently released a new property type. So a property is a field in an Ocean database. And this property type is particularly optimized for project management use cases. It's called the status property, and it's a brand new type of property. So I've just created this playground database. It's potentially a task database because the status property can be particularly applicable to tasks and projects and project management in general. So let's look at the features of this property and how it could be applied in a overall system of project management. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is click on plus here and create the new status property. Let's call this status and type will be this one right here, status. Whereas until now, we were used to selecting the select property to create statuses in a task management system where you would manually create options for to do, doing, done, or whatever in between you have. But the new status property comes with those options pre-populated as you can see it right here. So let's open the edit property panel. And you can see there are three main groups in the status property, and these are the default groups to do, in progress, complete. Within those groups, you can create sub statuses. And this allows you to cluster statuses based on the general timing of a project or a task. So for the to do section, for example, you can add a new status that is feasibility study. And now you will have two statuses for the to do section feasibility study and not started. So not started, maybe it could become ready to go. And then you can, as per usual, change the color type of the tag right here. In addition to that, whenever you open a tag or a select property, you can change the group it is part of. So if feasibility study is actually part of in progress, then you can click here and it will move down here. And you can do the same just by doing a drag and drop like that so that you can also redefine the statuses. Now, whenever creating a new board view, now we don't need to use the select property for status, but we can actually use this property. And you can see the visual is a bit different compared to when you have a status that's a select property. So add a view, board, group by, and you can see that whenever you create a new board and you already have a new status property, by default, Notion would create a select property. That's not very intuitive, but potentially it might be fixed soon. So we want to use the status property, the new status property, as the board column, just like that. Then we can color columns and we can decide the sorting, if it's ascending, manual descending. In this case, we want it to be ascending indeed, because these are the default positions of the different statuses. And here we can also decide what do we want to group this board view by. Is it by option, so including feasibility study, ready to go in progress and all these subcategories, or is it by group that would make this become to do in progress complete, which are the main categories of those three sections that we have in the new status property. So you can pick between the different types. Now, when I always switch to board view here, you can see there was a new status property created, but we don't need this actually, so delete it. Now on the board view, you can also drag things around. And you will notice that you don't have in-between statuses in here because we're using the generic group. And so if a task is here, then you can decide that's feasibility study or ready to go. And it will remain under to do. If you want a more granular categorization, then you will just go to layout, group by status, status by option. And now you have all the granular statuses. And so you can go from feasibility study to ready to go, in progress, done, and whatever statuses you have. On the table view, those changes will reflect. So if something is in feasibility study, then here you go. And on a table view, you can also select the status and the visual is just like this, grouped by main categories. Then you have all the options in here. Now, another feature of the new status property is that you can actually turn this into a checkbox. So if I go to edit property here, you can see there is an option that says show as, and you can pick between select and checkbox. So right now we have seen the status property in select mode. But what if we switch to checkbox? So the first thing that we can notice here on the screen is that the main groupings and options remain. So everything looks the same. But if you look at the table now, we see there is a checkbox right here instead of the status. And if I click on that checkbox, it is checked off. So if we go back to board view, however, we still have the capability to see our tasks grouped by the different statuses. And let's say this task here is ready to go. And now we start 
work in it. So it becomes in progress. Let's go back to the table view and you see that the checkbox is half full. That means that this task is in progress. So this checkbox view is just a different way to visualize the new status property. If it's to do, then it's empty. If it's in progress, it's half checked. If it's complete or done, then it is fully checked. And you can only have the half checked box if you move the card here on the board. Manually, it's not possible to get the half checked box. So if I click on task two, it's either fully checked or unchecked. There is no in between. And if task two is completed, so if I check it off, now let's go to board and task two has indeed moved to done here on the board view, which is what we want. And those are the main features of the new status property in Notion. In an overall project management system, this status property can be especially used for tasks and projects or product management as well. And the groupings can also depend on your specific departments. Let's say you are in product management and you want to have the design process as well as the engineering process all interlinked. And the new status property with the groupings can allow you to ensure that there is clarity of statuses across your departments all the way through the development of your product. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you soon.